Heil honey. Heil honey. Heil honey. Heil honey. Heil honey. Hello. I'm home. Heil honey. Heil honey. Smile honey. Because I'm home. Gee, it's great to be Top Gun, but it's nothing like the fun that I get when I say Heil honey. I am home. Heil honey. Heil honey. Smile honey. Gee, it's great to be back. Heil honey, I'm home. So you guys remember that one ad that they had for for 9-11 with that mattress store? What better way to remember 9-11 than with a twin tower sale? Right now you can get any size mattress for a twin price. Full mattress. Twin price. Queen mattress. Twin price. King mattress. Twin price. Store wide sale all day long. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! We'll never forget. It's gonna feel like that. I don't know how, and I don't know why, in the world someone would make or think that this was a good idea in the first place. And to be honest, it's kind of funny that it kind of exists. I've watched the pilot, it's not funny at all, but the fact that it exists is kind of hilarious, to be honest with you. This show, from what I've been able to gather, is not supposed to make fun of Hitler. It said it's supposed to make fun of all the sitcoms that just embrace stupid ideas. Like, I remember there's this one idea about, like, my mom the car. And it's... the, the actual premise of the show is kind of messed up. Uh, I'll show you a little bit. It's like, his... his mom's dead, and she's a car now. <laughs> But believe it or not, my mother did Decided she'd come back as a car She's a very old riding star A 1928 Ford That's my mother did She helps me through everything I do And I'm so glad she's here <laughs> My mother the car My mother the car For some reason that's a thing that was a thing. I don't know if... I don't know how long it ran, but that was a thing for a while. I know nobody liked that. It was supposed to just kind of be everything that involved Hitler, like anything historical, was played for laughs. And this grew so controversial that only one episode was ever made. And we're taking a look at this one episode. Let's dive right in. Hi, honey, I'm home! <laughs> That's you, Heil, honey, me! What did I do now? Oh, tonight you were making schnitzel! What a joke! One thing to take notice from this is that everyone has a Brooklyn accent. And I don't really know why, other than the fact that other like other sitcoms, like sitcoms in the past, had Brooklyn accents of their own. And like the Honeymooners and I Love Lucy. And they're supposed to reflect on that. But other than that, I don't really know why. Because this is they say that that it, later in the in this pilot that it's it's set in Berlin. But everyone still has a Brooklyn accent, and I I don't know why. You must be real mad at me, honey. I'm a very, very bad Hitler. <laughs> don't touch me. You've been late for your dinner every night this week. Ava, babe, please. I'm the Fuhrer. <laughs> <laughs> babe, come on. It's, I'm, I'm only the Fuhrer, baby. It's just, I, I just, I have people to feed. I'm, I'm only the, the chancellor of my country. I, I'm only the chancellor of my country. I'm sorry for that terrible, terrible accent. Everyone's more important than Ava. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Schickel Gruber. You may be big stuff in Germany, but I knew you and you were just a house painter. <laughs> oh, yeah, because Hitler was a painter, right? Why is that funny? You'll find out that... Most of the jokes here are references to Hitler and stuff going on that on that time. 
and it's not funny at all. It's just kind of messed up in a way, like it's making it comedic and funny. And it's like the Big Bang Theory in a way, because it's always reliant on these references. Like, but it's Big Bang Theory, it's with like nerd culture and whatever. And with Hitler, it's just World War II and it's his life, I guess. But it's, it's not funny for both cases, really. Ah, oh, come on, babe. Just relax. Here comes the tickle monster. <laughs> I wonder how being tickled by Hitler feels like. Like you're being tickled by a guy who killed over six million people. <laughs> hey, do you remember the names we used to call each other when we first started dating? Oh, no. You were Mr. Sausage. <laughs> Mr. Sausage. Mr. Sausage. <laughs> but I was your hoochie coochie girl. Yeah. You hear that? Hitler's touching some cooch. Hoochie, coochie, coochie. Smoochie, smoochie, smoochie. Hoochie, coochie, coochie. You're my little old I never want to see that ever again in my life. Oh, so Hitler's neighbors are Jewish, and they, the joke is that they always are nosy. How could this not be offensive? Like, how could this not be offensive? Like, the Jewish neighbors are nosy. Arnie Goldenstein, you are a slob. The Jewish neighbor is an obnoxious snob. Way to make a likable character, guys. So the neighbors, who are called the Goldensteins, because they have no other better name for that than that for a Jewish person, and they are incredibly annoying, as much as Hitler and his wife, and they always are yelling and just shouting and I don't understand, why do they need to yell? Like, is that supposed to be funny for for people to yell? If I, if I were to yell, like, like I want, I want my dog over here right now. Was that funny? It's not funny. I just said I want my dog here right now. Max, come here right now. Come here right now. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Now get out of here. Get out. I'm recording a video. All right, a little bit more. A little bit more. Say, what's going on here? Fresh flowers? Fresh coffee? What did you buy, Rosa? Huh? A new dress? No. Don't tell me. I gotta take a seltzer first. I didn't buy anything. Your mother's coming? <laughs> oh, you really hate her, don't you, Arnie? Go on, say it, Arnie. Okay. I hate your mother. <laughs> I can't believe you just said you hate my mother. Watch the lips. I hate your mother. <laughs> the mother's funny. Oh, I get it, because the mother. The mother. Oh, I don't get it. What's the mother have to do with it? Someone tell me the joke. So there's a subplot where uh, they're the Jewish neighbor's uh, niece or something. Like the Jewish neighbor's niece come comes to visit and they're trying to look for a date for her because she's 22 years old and she hasn't started dating yet. Like we need that. Like I wanna know more about her. See what's so special about her. The thing is we don't really need that. Like you can cut that out and there nothing would change. There's no reason for like that subplot to be there because it affects nothing. Into, into that at all. It, there's no reason for their niece to come over because it, it contributes nothing to the plot of the pilot. So it, they could have cut, it, cut that out and it would have stayed the same. What happened to us? Once we had something so pure, so wonderful, so fresh, Arnie. <laughs> what happened to it? You spent it all. <laughs> Get it? Cause Jews like money. Whoa! Oh, oh my God, that's really racist. Ah, okay, Ava, gotta go. Hang on a second. That's stock music that you're playing here. Play, 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 it, play it again. Ah, okay, Ava, gotta go. See, that's stock music. 
I, I, I've heard so many YouTubers use that. Oh my god. This is like an equivalent of a YouTube video. <laughs> when Chamberlain comes by tonight, get yourself all dolled up, you know, show him a little bit of that hoochie-coochie girl magic. So what Hitler's asking his wife to do is to show off her cooch to the British Prime Minister. Sounds reasonable to me. Hi, Ava. Hi, honey. So they're neighbors, right? How is it possible, how is it so easy just to get into Hitler's house? Like she just literally opened the door and she's there. That's just, it's too easy. No wonder they're always nosy. Cause it's, there, it's easy to get into their house. Like I could literally just walk up to Hitler's house like, hey Hitler, what's going on, man? And then she, he'd be like, nine! This is Ruth. <laughs> Hi Ruth. Having a good time in Berlin, honey? No, not really. Can you do some fun things while you're here in Berlin? I don't think so. You want to go back to the apartment, watch the bird spin around on its little wheel? Okay. Because <laughs> anyone who suffers from autism is hilarious. Me? Hey, say, do you think just about the most important person in Europe would like my meatloaf? Just about the most important person in Europe is coming here. <laughs> uh, gee, did I say that? <laughs> me and my big mouth. Adolf will kill me. Knowing that's Hitler? Yeah. Probably will. Well, they play a game of charades because Hitler's wife doesn't want to tell her, even though she's basically telling her who that who's coming over tonight in a game of charades. So, she's pretty uh, dishonest. Neville Chamberlain! Ah! Coming to this apartment! Ah! Ah! Oh, I don't believe it! Oh, no. He's coming to check up on Adolf. Make sure he ain't hiding any tanks or battleships. <laughs> Listen, honey, I didn't tell you. You didn't tell me, honey. Swear to it. Swear and promise. Whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute. Wait. Did I just see? A Jew? A Jew. Give the Hitler salute. So the Goldensteins enter Hitler's home and Hitler starts getting mad at his wife because he's because she's the only person that he's ever told about the British Prime Minister coming over and they start acting really obnoxious and it gets really, really annoying when they come over. It's like non-stop yelling, shouting, and all that. Oh, I got another one. You're gonna love this. You ready for this? Ah, ready? Who's this? Who's this? Monkey, I win. Wonderful party. Good night. No, it's not a monkey. It's not Ruth. It's your mother. <laughs> we gotta do that mother a joke again. It wasn't funny the first time. Maybe they'll be funny the second time. It's not. And Adolf, what would you call a polar bear with three balaclavas on? I don't know, Neville. What do you call a polar bear with three balaclavas on? Anything you like, because it can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Chamberlain, how about a pot of tea? Oh, all right. Here goes. <clears throat> I'm a little teapot short. <laughs> There's my spouse. Will I get my steam up? Hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. I don't get it. Why did he have to do that? It wasn't funny. It's not funny at all. I don't know why he, he started singing that song. I, I was just wondering if you could do me a favor. What is it? A girl? You yeah. want me to uh, no, pick you up? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just that I feel, well, 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 we all feel, that you have been rather a naughty boy, all this Czechoslovakia nonsense, eh? Oh, come <laughs> on, Neville, it was just having fun. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, uh, I was just having fun. One country, two country, Poland, Poland. I'm just saying. Say hello to Rose. Hi, Rose. Grab hold of the Europe bus. Oh, 
Okay. But, but I came, I saw, I come, I came, I saw, I come, I come, I come, I come. That was fun. <laughs> I'm offended. Are you? Neville, there's someone I want you to meet. Oh. <laughs> Neville, this is my niece, Ruth. Ruth, this is the British Prime Minister. <laughs> what is this? A secret gobble scheme? <laughs> what say I go scare up some munchies? <laughs> Honey. I ain't dating at the moment. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's a bold piece of baggage, isn't she? <laughs> even the guy that's supposed to be the, on the good side, even he's kind of a jerk. So after much argument, he finally gets rid of the Goldensteins and he has to deal with the situation with the British Prime Minister after hiding the peace agreement and it becomes incredibly awkward. And I just realized this right now, Ruth is still there, even though the Goldensteins were just kicked out. Ruth is still there and she really doesn't serve a purpose. And the disparity between them is really odd because the British Prime Minister is like, looks like he's like 50 or 60, and they said Ruth was like 22. So, it's kind of a bit of a pedophilia right there. Well, not pedophilia, they're adults, you know, whatever. It's, it's just odd, that disparity between them. That's a, it's a 30 year disparity. <clears throat> Adolf chap, you weren't trying to hide this, were you? Me? You don't think I... Oh, come on. I mean, look at me. Look at my outfit. I'm just one of the boys. I'm a real fun guy. Uh, I'm, just a, I'm just one of the guys. I'm a cool guy. I, I, I only kid like, what, four, five, six million people? Oh, there's that sort of thing. Oh, there you are. Now, tell me, which restaurant would you like me to take you to? <laughs> that laugh gets me every time. I don't know why. I just love it when, when he laughs. That's the only thing I found funny. Just how he laughs. Everything else is offensive and terrible. So that was Heil Honey I'm Home. What a train wreck. I'm glad this was just a pilot. Because if this was an actual series, could you imagine the hijinks and shenanigans that these characters would end up in? Like, uh, imagine the Goldsteins finally witnessing the Holocaust. Or Hitler committing suicide. Oh, I love that episode. I love that episode. And his, his, wife, his wife committed suicide too, so I remember that. Uh, this was made for nobody. There's nothing funny about this show. There's nothing special. The only thing, actually, you know what? The no, one thing special about it is that Hitler's in it. I would have never reviewed this if Hitler wasn't in it. Because the fact that he is in it makes it unique. And if he wasn't, I would have never touched this. I would have just think, thought, oh, it's just a simple premise or sitcom, sitcom that never, that never got into fruition. That was never made. And because he's in it, makes it a lot more interesting. The most surprising thing is that I can actually see a show like this working out like there's a bunch of shows that are aimed to offend people like South Park and It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia which are way way better shows than this like by a long shot but this is just trying to be a sitcom it's not try it's it's offensive without even trying well they're trying to be offensive but at the same time they're still funny just if you want to watch it I'll put it in the description as for this as for this video, I'm done. I'm done.